Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. This is Madden 18 on EA Sports. Both defenses will have to be on the watch for a pair of tight ends looking to find seams in the secondary. It's Gronkowski's Patriots going up against Travis Kelsey's Chiefs. With that, it's time to hook up with our commentators in the booth as we turn it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Larry, as always, it is a frenzied atmosphere inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. A few moments ago, the emotional leader of the Chiefs defense, Eric Berry, making his way out of the tunnel. He and his mates will get set to do battle with Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we saw Larry focus on the tight end matchup in his open. You think it's one to watch, don't you? Definitely one to watch because these guys can create such big plays by all the different things they can do. Line up out wide in the slot, line up in a normal tight end position, and then who are you going to cover them with? Is it a linebacker, a defensive back? They create mismatches all throughout the game. Here's Steven Goskowski now to kick this one off. And we are underway from Arrowhead. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Fresh off his second Pro Bowl, Alex Smith bringing out the Kansas City Chiefs. And with that Pro Bowl last year, had a great season. A lot of high hopes in Kansas City this year. Plenty of high hopes, and Alex Smith hopes to be that guy still leading this team. But he's getting some pressure because they moved up in the draft to pick Pat Mahomes out of Texas Tech, and he appears to be the quarterback of the future. But can Alex Smith stay the quarterback of now? from Toledo this is Kareem Hunt and not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28 yard line three yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down the starting 11 offensively for the KC Chiefs and at running back Spencer Ware the go-to guy but they, they've got some other good options there don't they they certainly do they've got a rookie by the name of Kareem Hunt who seems to have locked down the number two spot but how about the competition for number three C.J. Spiller, formerly a number one running back in the NFL. He's battling out the incumbent guy there, Charkandrick West. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. They're going deep for Hill. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. For the New England Patriots defensively, here are the starters. And defensive line, Charles, maybe a little bit of a question mark. Well, it started with Rob Ninkovich retiring at the start of training camp. And then Derek Rivers, their top draft pick, he tore an ACL and got hurt August the 18th. Logan Ryan, remember he was a starting corner, signed a free agent contract with Tennessee in the offseason. And Dante Hightower, he's on the pup list. They're hoping to get him back and get his quality of play. But Stephon Gilmore came up from the Buffalo Bills to play one of the corner spots. I think New England will find a way to still have a good defensive football team. Throwing on third down, Smith. Dumps it off for Spiller. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. And to the left side here, Wilson. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback. 
that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Fresh set of downs here. Smith with a give to Hunt. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. I'm ready now for second and nine. Get on, They'll run it now. This is Charkandrick West. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. To throw on third down, Smith. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. The Kansas City first, Smith finding his fellow pro bowler, Kelsey. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now, I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. Smith turns and gives to West. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Defense doing their job. Really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense. No gain call fitting your gaps, right? I love it. You're exactly right. Here's Smith now on second down. On target over the middle of the hill. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. This will be play number nine coming up on this relatively long opening drive as they look to convert on third down. A shotgun snap for Smith. He is going to find Hill here. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Big completion there on third and short. Keeps their opening drive alive. Not only alive, but plenty of possibilities now. First and goal, and you know me. I'm a big advocate. If you're going to throw the ball, throw it early in the down and distance count. goes on and on. This is West. 
And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? And the first carry for the former Clemson Tiger, C.J. Spiller. And give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Trying to finish off this opening drive from the three. This is third and goal. Now Smith to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. I think the training and practice broke down on that play because he simply didn't run the route deep enough to get to the first down marker, despite what was a really nice catch and toe tap on the sideline. Now that's third down 101. You got to go to the marker, know where it is. Here's Cairo Santos now for the Chiefs field goal. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. So they get the field goal, but part of that was a 14-play drive to get the three. Normally when you hold the ball that long, run that many plays, you end up in the end zone. There's a breakdown on the defense. Something happens. In this case, that didn't. But really good ball controlled by the offense. They're hoping that they can wear them down if they keep having drives like that. After the main field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Leading out the New England Patriots, number 12, Tom Brady, who you thought had done everything in his illustrious career. What do you, what do you mean he has? Until this week, he graced the cover of Madden for the first time. You're exactly right, because <laughs> I had thought he had done everything he possibly could have in his career. But the first time on the cover of Madden, congratulations to Tom Brady, and congratulations, football fans. The GOAT on the cover. Now a play fake here on first down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Gronkowski, the intended receiver, and it's second down. And now we take a peek at the Patriot offense. To me, the identity of the New England Patriots on offense is that they have no identity. They don't lean to the run. They don't lean to the pass. They just game plan each and every week for what they think is going to be most effective. And how does it turn out for them? One of the most balanced teams in the league, and they're usually way up there in the stats. Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. Wide open, Gronkowski. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. A big play, Brady to Gronkowski. And even 50 yards. He was a cover guy for Madden in 2016, but I don't think Gronk saw that as being his highlight for the year. What did he have, 25 catches yeah, for 25. the season? Only eight games went down for good right before Thanksgiving. You know he wants to be back with a vengeance in 2017.
So here we go, first and ten now. So a carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And a glance now at the Chiefs' defense. Ranking 24th overall in total defense is not something that excites Kansas City, but they offset that in a big way in 2016. They forced 33 turnovers, which led the league by three, and ended up plus 16 in turnover margin, which tied for first in the NFL, which helped lead them to a playoff run. Now Brady throwing on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. And now following the incomplete pass, we'll get a timeout here for an injured player. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. So a third and 10, and defensively, a dime look, six DBs. Throwing is Brady on third down. Open man left side is Gronkowski. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. They get seven there, but it brings up four. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he could scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. So on fourth down, Brady will yield to Goskowski for the field goal try. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and that will tie us at 3-3. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point. So no problems converting there. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And out come the Chiefs now. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> They go play action here on first down. And his throw is incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Smith going to give this one to Hunt. 
And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. On third down, Smith. Wilson snags it left side. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. All right, CD, you got a second. Ready to go on the hot seat? Oh, man. Already? <laughs> gonna call Already this, this gonna, season? Going to call this segment. You're the coach. You got All right. In Denver, Houston, Cleveland, Jacksonville, week one, who are you starting at quarterback? All right, let's take them individually then. Denver, I'm starting Trevor Simeon. Who was the second team? Houston. Houston, I am starting Deshaun Watson. Who's the third team? Cleveland. I'm starting Deshaun Kaiser. Okay, and then Jacksonville. Jacksonville, I'm starting Blake Bortles. I'm starting him ahead of Chad Henney. I'm telling him, sink or swim. This is your year. I like that. Going on the record and very decisive, I might add. Yeah, how about that? And Patrick Mahomes won't start for Kansas City to begin the season, but he may be the starter when they head towards the playoffs. This is Lewis. And he's able to get this up just shy of the 15. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. Partner, I think that play echoed a short yardage run. I know they're backed up against their own goal line, but... When they stack the defensive line like that, if you find any type of a crease, you're up to the third level before you know it. Again, it's Lewis. And he's going to be taken down right at about the 15-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Brady to throw on second down. Throwing left side, he's got Gronk complete. And all the way down to the 36-yard line. A big play, Brady to Gronkowski. 48 yards. I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Well, wow, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. <laughs> Think he gunned down a few guys? Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Throwing on first down is Brady. Gronkowski's got it on the crossing route. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, you find big 87. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They'll run it here. This is James White. 
And he'll push his way up to about the 14. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. And before they can run another play, the clock hits triple zeros. And time is up on the first quarter. Three all to score. And we're back to Arrowhead after this. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. They've got a second down and eight to start things out. as he's down to the 10-yard line. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. From the gun on third down, Brady. That escapes the sack. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Justin Houston in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. So on fourth down, Brady will yield to Goskowski for the field goal try. And Goskowski's kick is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. Well, they started this drive in as tough a spot as you can at their own one. So they're able to march it into field goal range and get three. I thought that was a very poised, dare say classy sort of a drive. Backed up in the shadow of your own end zone, yet you come out of it and put points on the board. Well executed. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. On first and ten, Smith. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. 
that was an interception, but on the field, the guys who are picking it off, they're not saying that. What word are they using? It's Oski. And that means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. And it's up and good to make the score 13 to 3. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. from the snap to the ball was out of his hand. He's Fast, quick. Fastest of any quarterback in the league. Another instance right there. Whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. False start. Offense. That's going to set him back five yards. Still first down. Smith. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. midfield and down to the 48 yard line three yards on the pickup that's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go well he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far and after that last run 
not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. From the gun on third down, Smith. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. I'm not sure we can spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. All right, time for us to spotlight Rob Gronkowski. And we roll the highlights of the game he's had. You know, when we talk about wide receivers and how you shut them down, what about when you have a tight end like this having a game? How do you stop him defensively? It really changes what you're trying to do because defensively you're, you're worried more about the wideouts. Okay, how are we going to cover them? The running backs, how are you going to shut them down? But the tight end is that elusive, unique player. Linebacker covering, cornerback covering, safety covering him. Always has the advantage, usually has final answer against anyone who tries to defend them. First and ten, here's Brady. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's brought down after a good game. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Brandon, with the way things are going with Tom Brady finding Gronk as many times as he has in this game and the team is winning, you think at some point maybe even Brady would do the Gronk dance? <laughs> Well, if he does that Gronk dance, Davis, that means you have to do that Gronk dance. Trust me, partner, no one wants to see me do the Gronk dance. <laughs> Your wife? <laughs> no, no one. Brady gives this one to Lewis. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Not much happening there on first down. Thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Now a play fake. Brady. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Derek Johnson not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but... I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Brady now to throw. is going to be incomplete. I'm no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up, but they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. In his fifth year from La Tech, here's the lefty Ryan Allen to punt it. 
Back deep for Kansas City, DeAnthony Thomas. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense and Tyreek Hill heading back out onto the field. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. They'll fake it. Now Smith. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Second down, here's Smith. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This will be a tough third and 18. Smith on the screen, complete to Spiller. And they'll get him down here at the 23. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Patriots take over. The Chiefs defense getting ready to roll. They did their job last go around, forced the punt, hoping for more of that here. They got off the field. That's exactly what they wanted to accomplish. Get off the field, turn the ball over to their offense, and kick back and enjoy a little bit of water and rest before they have to go back out there again. Back out there now and hoping to hurry up and get more water and rest. They'll start things on first down with Deion Lewis. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Second down, here's Brady. And he finds Danny Amendola. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. 
Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. Here's Ryan Allen now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Returnable for Thomas. That'll wind up being a 50-yard punt, though they do get 10 back on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Kareem Hunt and the rest of the offense making their way back out there. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, him. don't take him totally out of the game. They'll start with Hunt on the ground, and he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe you keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. They'll run again with Hunt, and he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third at about seven left. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. The Chiefs on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and seven. Throwing on third down, Smith. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Holding offense. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that officially. Give him 15. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Chiefs defense here ready to head back out onto the field. They have a little something to build off of from last time with a three and out. And what they have to build off of? Great confidence right now. Being able to stuff someone on a three and out. You feel like you're in control now. You're doing the dictating. They want to see if that can continue as this game progresses. Will it continue? We'll see. Start off with a give to Lewis. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Looking to throw on second down. Brady looking middle. It's caught by Gronkowski. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. 
You know how some teams use the running game just to bludgeon people? I think that Brady to Gronk does the exact same thing for them. Long, short, medium, they know how to connect. In ways that sort of revolutionized the quarterback tight end relationship. They can go, as you, you've told me before, they go medium, they can go short, they go long. And the way that Gronk is used, he's not just a tight end. Oftentimes they put him on the backside of formation as a single wide receiver, and he runs routes exactly that way. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Arrowhead after this. We're just two minutes away from sending you to Orlando for Larry Ridley in our EA Sports Halftime Report, so don't forget about that coming up shortly. Yeah, it wouldn't be a halftime without him, and we thank him for doing the highlights. Let's go get a snack. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. to throw on second down. Brady throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after, and it's third down. Well, they're slinging it, and then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. New England on third down, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and nine. From the gun, it's Brady. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of four on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. on to punt as he gets this one away. And this one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. And let's shift now to talking about the Patriots' defense. Their stay on the field last time was short-lived with a three and out. See if they can get some more of that. And ordinarily, you want to be on the field playing, right? But three and out? That's almost gold to a defense. Get to the bench, get some rest, turn the ball over to your offense. We'll see what they can do here, see if they can force another three and out. And tough starting field position here. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. And it's complete to Chris Conley. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. Smith. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Single, single. Single, single. Single, single. Single, single. Single, single. 
Second and ten. Smith again. And to the left side here, Wilson. And he'll go out of bounds across the 35-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. And now a first down following that long gain. Throwing again is Smith. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. And welcome back. The offensive unit, they took the timeout. And now they get set to line up as we resume action. Smith throwing again. He'll leave it for Hunt complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. To the air again, Smith. He's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. He's been terrific so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line. A beauty. And we move to spotlighting Brandon Cooks. Second quarter, a guy like him, no catches. So that's the surprising part. But they're winning, so maybe they've been able to do some other things effectively, I guess. And they found other ways, haven't they? Because the receivers will tell you, offense needs to run through us. But they're managing to get it done in this ball game without having to actually do that. I wouldn't expect them to stay silent for the rest of the game, though. Yeah, yeah you got to think that his first catch is coming at some point. And not great starting field position here for the offense. They start the drive on the ground with Lewis. And he's going to lose yardage back to his own one-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. They've got to do a better job up front and create some space because they're right there, almost literally on their own goal line. Just a couple of feet away from a safety. That could have been disastrous. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage. As we send you down to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando, where we find our man Larry Ridley with our halftime report. All right, Brandon, back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get you caught up on all the highlights from the first half. The Chiefs are behind right now, but the home crowd should give them a boost. The Patriots have looked good on the road and will just try to keep the ball rolling in the second half. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. in 
10. Smith's under pressure and will throw the pick. Patriots take advantage and return it for a touchdown, which takes the lead to 10. Patriots with the ball midway through the second. Derek Johnson showing skill here to get to the QB. This goes for a loss of nine. First and 10, Flowers going to push his way to the QB here. This will go for a loss of eight. So that'll bring our halftime report to a close. We'll go back now to Arrowhead Stadium for the start of the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. This is Lewis. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 and a New England first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Carry for White. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. They keep it on the ground, White again. And he's gonna be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end of the half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with the lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. Throwing now is Brady. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds, so a big call there. That brings up fourth. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. 
Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Now a play fake here on first down. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Shane McClellan from that outside linebacker spot. He's able to get in there for a loss of nine. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. This is Hunt. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little game there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third and nine. From the gun, here's Smith. No chance to get away there from Smith as he goes down. David Harris with a big time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Jones breaking from the contact. That'll be a 49-yard punt, six yards there on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Chiefs defense, they get set and ready to do battle again. They forced the punt the last time, got off the field. I'm, I'm sure some of your D coordinators through the years, you, you liked when you heard those words, get off the field. Oh, there's no doubt or Maybe about you didn't it. like it when you heard those words. <laughs> it depended on when they were yelling them. But in this situation, absolutely perfect. Get off the field, force a punt, let the offense take over and do their thing, and it resulted in a field goal. Now we'll see if they can do that again. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Brady now on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Brady will try again on second down. And unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. New England on third down. They're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This is third and 10. On play action, it's Brady. He's letting it fly for Cooks. That's caught inside the 20. A big play there for the Pats on third. 42 yards. 
usually hitting a deep post pattern as we just saw there for a big gainer. That's tough to do because you usually have a safety or two in the middle of the field. But if you hit enough crossers and underneath routes and curls, you start to get those guys creeping up wanting to make plays on the football. It's the equivalent of a change up in baseball. You show your other stuff, throw the change up, and on that play it worked for big yardage. Laundry on the field. This is going to be a false start on the offense. Sometimes you have to slow things down a little bit when things get heated. The cadence has to be slow and deliberate at times to make sure your team's ready to go. second and five and there's another completion to the tight end and let's face it it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target <laughs> it is indeed quarterbacks like their speed guys they like that huge six six target that they've got in him they really do and it, it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once he had told his quarterback just make sure you throw it up there you know kind of like put it up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. throwing middle but it's incomplete we always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass throwing a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. And an extra DB here for the Chiefs on third down. Pass situation. Again, it's Brady. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. So on fourth down, Brady will yield to Goskowski for the field goal try. And Goskowski's kick is good. And the lead stretches 16 to 3 now. So three field goals for him here. This last one helps him stretch out the lead. And he's been solid as usual. And this is what you need to do. Make sure you get points out of every possession. And so far, they've done a nice job of that. Koskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Six yards here to go for the offense on second down. Larry, Larry, Larry. 
Throwing is Smith. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. And the offense lining up first and ten. Now it's Hunt. Stays on his feet. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Play action. Here's Smith. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Holding offense. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. And the offense behind the chains here, a touch on second and 11. Trying to run the option right side, Smith. And he's across the 43, extra yards to the 43. A nice job there as he rumbles for nine, and it'll be back to a third and three. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. The Chiefs on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. Here it's third and three. Here's Smith on the option left. And this one's gonna go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? They go play action here on first down. And Cooks has it over the middle. 18 big yards on that one, and a New England first down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it, because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one.
They'll run it now out of the gun. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Tough day. Tough sledding right there. And it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. They try again with Lewis. Shrugs him off. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. But at least he was able to break that initial contact, or it could have been a loss. Yeah, give credit to the defensive player, though. What did he do? Made him slow down, slow up his feet, and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off. Play action. Now it's Brady. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. My high school coach, John Ford, used to say all the time, if you're in a bad situation, laddie, don't compound it with a bad decision as well. And I think that's what we just saw there. Harassed in the pocket, and he throws into double coverage anyway. He called you laddie? He called me laddie, and that was the nicest thing he called me. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And oh my, mistake there. Backs up, takes a fair catch at the three-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down, that's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? on this one back to the 13. The loss of a full three yards and now it's second down. But if these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Trying to run the option right side. Smith. And he's going to be taken down right at about the 15-yard line. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. 
It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. The Chiefs on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This is third and 11. A shotgun snap for Smith. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Jonathan Freeney in there to drop him for a four-yard loss, and it'll be fourth down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. Whoosh. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives them a new set of downs. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Throwing on first down is Brady. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here. With that type of a lead, clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. For a good little game. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Now they'll run with Lewis. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Brady going to try and throw on third down. Sets up the screen to Lewis. And now running right through it. Good contain. No gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. So unable to get any yardage at all off of the screen there on third down. And ordinarily on third down, that's when you want to bring pressure. You get all your guys who want to get after the quarterback. But how about the patience they showed? Read the play, snuffed it out, and made a nice stop. to the 
football. It's blocked. It's picked up. A live ball here, remember. But when it all comes together and you get the field goal blocked that's been designed, that's been drawn up, everyone has to feel good about on that side of the ball. How about that one there? To the left side, knew what they had. That's where they wanted to be. And they got their designated guy turned free. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Smith on first down. The Conley's got it over the middle. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Give him nine there on the first down completion. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. To throw on second down is Smith. He's got the hookup with Conley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. So the offense has it first and 10. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far, it's second down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. They'll fake it. Now Smith. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Albert Wilson, the intended receiver there, and it'll bring up third down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. An extra corner on the field for New England here on third down. Yeah, another DB. Throwing on third down, Smith. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact, able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he's on to punt for Kansas City. And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right near the pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. Starting field position here. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And now where are they gonna mark him here? Well, they say he did get back to the one yard line, but that could have easily been two points the other way. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage, they've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, 
don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. And you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Oh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. Taking it about the 16. Kareem Hunt and the rest of the offense making their way back out there. And in the early going, the running game, as we see the numbers, it just wasn't on point. Well, now it's gotten more true to form. And sometimes it takes a little while for an offensive line to get in sync because early in the game, defenses throw different patterns at you, different formations, different sets, and you might not block them quite the way you want to, but as you start to get into a groove and you figure out what they're doing, now it all comes together, and that's what we're seeing right now. First and ten, Smith. And incomplete on the deep ball. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. And now it's second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Smith going to leave it to Hunt on the draw. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. Third and 11, and some extra depth of the secondary here. They're in the dime. Out of the gun, Smith. And Wilson has it. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. A nice gain of 21 yards. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. From the 50, it's Smith. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. A decent run there following the display of quick feet down just inside the 45. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. On first down, it's Smith. And Hill with it over the middle. Eventually wrangled down before reaching the 20, but a strong run. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. 
one of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. They'll run it now out of the gun. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. And that'll set him back five. motion again and that's going to be two in a row offense. so that'll back him up five and on the outside they're playing press coverage Now a play fake here on first down. And that is caught, but the back judge right there to say incomplete. D'Anthony Thomas, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. And especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. to the air again, Smith. Hill shedding the tackle. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And it's a big time hitting going on there. He is knocked to the ground at the nine yard line. Able to get nine out of that pitch and catch, but now third and goal. Forget height and catch radius. When you run the fade really well, run down the defender, kind of take him a little bit towards the middle of the field, and then fade to the sideline and give your quarterback some space, it can be executed that well, just as we saw. Now Smith on third and goal. That is caught at the seven yard line. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. Completed pass brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going for it here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin, fourth quarter. You're going. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. All right, so you needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal then maybe not exactly what they wanted, but it's a necessary first step. Still plenty of time remaining, but you could really use a stop defensively after the kickoff, preferably a three and out. After the main field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. 
That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get this just up past the 20, but a marker is down. Let's get the call. Holding, team. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. With that field position after the return wasn't terrific, it's not a great starting field position as well. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. On second down, here's Brady. And a dump off to White. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Fresh set of downs here. To throw is Brady. Allen's got it over the middle. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Martellus Bennett moves on to Green Bay, so what do the Patriots do? They go get Dwayne Allen from Indianapolis. Yeah, for a fourth-round draft pick. And last year, he had 35 catches, six touchdowns as a Colt. And also, the Patriots got Brandon Cooks, Coney Ealy, and Allen all for draft picks. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Now a handoff here to his running back. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. So here we go, first and ten now. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Second down following the run. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's brought down. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop. 150 left in the football game. So 
so the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Now the offense lining up first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. New England on third down. Not getting the job done at all. A very poor one for 10. Here it's third and two. And they're going to take it all the way down and just take the delay. Delay of game, offense. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. New England on third down. Not getting the job done at all. A very poor one for 10. This is third and seven. To throw is Brady. And this is caught. It's pulled in by Gronkowski. And oh, he coughed it up. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right, a lost opportunity. Brady will take a knee here, and that should just about do it. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it, and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done.
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gawden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Kansas City, so long, everybody.